said booty everywhere. Booty everywhere. I can't help but spell she got that booty everywhere. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Fern. If you clicked on this video, you guys want to grow some bigger peaches. Hell yeah. Anyway, y'all, I am going to go through my whole entire workout with y'all. This is how I grow my booty. I'm an Asian girl. It's hard for me to grow my butt, but I did it, and this is how. Before anything, we got to warm up. Today, I'm just warming up on the elliptical machine for five minutes just to warm up my body temperature to prepare my body for the upcoming workout. And after I'm done with the elliptical machine, I do some more warm-ups. I do dynamic warm-ups just to stretch out my joints, my hip flexors, my knees, whatever I have issues with so that they're nice and flexible and nice and warm to get ready for the heavy lift. This is how I prevent injuries and warm-ups are so, so important. So try to do at least five to 10 minutes of warm-ups to prepare yourself mentally and physically. Now that my body is nice and warm, let's start lifting. The first lift of the day will be sumo deadlifts. This is my warm-up set, by the way, you guys. I'm lifting only 60 kg for 12 reps. I like doing warm-up sets because it primes my nervous system and prepares my body and lets my body know exactly what I want it to do. Plus, it allows me to analyze my body and the movements just in case I have any issues with any joints or any muscle. It's better to be mindful when you're not lifting as heavy rather than going heavy and having issues and then hurting yourself. Now on to the working sets. I'm lifting 90 kg today because I was sick for the whole entire week but this is my first leg session back at the gym so I'm not lifting as heavy as I would. I do use lifting straps because I have weak grips and I can lift a lot heavier than <laughs> what my grip can handle and it really helps me to just concentrate on my lift rather than think about the grip and the lift. Sumo deadlift is a great compound exercise. It targets the posterior chain, which is your back, your glutes, your hamstrings, and it also targets a little bit of your quads and adductors. When you set up for the sumo deadlift, your feet should be wider than your shoulder width apart with your toes pointed out. And the bar should be around the midpoint of your feet. Brace your core and bring your hips toward the bar. Engage your lower back, legs, and glutes. Inhale and drive your legs into the ground while pulling the bar up. Keep your chest high and your hips down. Try to pull the bar along your legs as close to your body as possible while pressing through your heels as you push through your legs to rise up and make sure to squeeze your glutes when you lock out. So now on to the first compound set of the workout. We're doing some hip thrusts with good mornings. Compound set is when you do two exercises back to back, working the same muscle group without any rest in between those exercises. So first up is the hip thrust. Y'all know this is a love-hate relationship for me. Hip thrusts are so difficult, but they are key for building bigger glutes. So when you do hip thrusts, make sure that your feet are slightly wider than your hip distance apart and your toes are turned outwards just slightly. And make sure you have a barbell pad because this will hurt your hips because you will be placing the bar right across your hips. So when you do hip thrusts, squeeze your glutes and press the bar straight up until your hips are aligned with your shoulders and knees. Your knees should be at a 90 degree angle during the concentric part of the movement and make sure to squeeze and pause there for a second before lowering down the weight. Now we're gonna move on to the good mornings, which is gonna work the posterior chain as well, which is your glutes, your hamstrings, your erector spinae, lower back, all that good jazz. Make sure to place your hand symmetrical to the other side and make sure that the weight is equally distributed 
While doing this exercise, it is extremely important to activate your abdominal muscles. Then exhale as you hinge your hips, sending the hips backward and upper body forward. Once your upper body is nearly parallel to the floor, stop and you should really feel a lot of tension in your hamstrings and in your glutes. If you feel too much pain in your lower back, that means that you're not activating your abs. Do this exercise slow and control and really concentrate on that mind and muscle connection. And if you guys are up for a little more challenge with the hip thrusts, try using the elastic bands because they will really activate your glutes and you will feel so much burn with these. It is so good and it feels so bad at the same time. The next compound set of the workout is barbell RDLs with dumbbell split stance RDLs. Once again, these exercises target the posterior chain. That is where your glutes are, baby. For the RDLs, you want to use a overhand grip. Draw your shoulders back and keep your spine nice and straight, which means you have to activate your abs, you guys. Then hinge your hips back as you slowly lower the bar towards your feet. Go as low as you possibly can and feel that tension in your glutes and your hamstrings. And don't forget to squeeze your glutes during the concentric part of the movement. Y'all, when I tell you to squeeze, you squeeze. Take a couple of deep breaths and then on to the dumbbell split stance RDLs. Same principle as the barbell RDLs. Draw your shoulders back, activate your abs, keep your spine nice and straight, hinge your hips back as you slowly lower the dumbbells towards your feet. 80% of the weight will be loaded on your front foot, which is like your working leg, and 20% of it will be on the back foot. This is a great unilateral exercise which works one side at a time and it's great to help with muscle imbalances. I really really love this exercise. Y'all, by this time, my legs are starting to shake because it's just really, really hard. The lactic acid is starting to set in. But I just keep pushing through. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. The last compound set of the workout. You guys, I love compound sets because time under tension is key. So the last compound set is going to be cable pull-throughs with banded lateral walks. So for the cable pull-throughs, begin the movement by bending at the waist, hinging your hips backwards towards the machine. Make sure that your spine is nice and neutral. I actually like to curb my upper back just a little bit. I feel like it helps with feeling the full glute activations. And once again, squeeze you guys during the concentric part of the movement. It is so important to squeeze. Yes, it makes my butt look really ugly, but that's okay. Okay. 
so we really worked the gluteus maximus and now it's time to work on the smaller glute muscles which are the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus don't get me wrong y'all the banded lateral walk also hits your glute max but it also hits the other smaller glute muscles which is important to get that full rounded juicy looking booty so I've placed the band just above my knees. However, you can place the band above your ankles or even around your feet. I've never placed the band around my feet. Apparently, it does activate your glutes more, but like I said, I've never tried that. But placing the band just above my knees, I can definitely feel the burn, you guys. It kills. I do this until failure. upstairs to stretch and cool down oh my goodness that was challenging so how many of y'all actually stretch and properly cool down after your workouts if you guys don't do it you really should because cooling down your body properly is just as important as warming up your body properly Giving your body some time to cool down will help regulate your heart rate. It will also reduce the buildup of lactic acid, which will help eliminate the soreness after a intense workout. It will also help prevent injuries. Also, it's relaxing and it will relieve a lot of stress. Cool down is probably my favorite part of the workout. I love stretching out all of my muscles. It helps with my range of motion and my posture. It is so good for you. Don't skip your cool downs. Because you know so that was my whole entire workout for my glutes well actually my hamstrings as well please remember to use the weights according to your fitness level and also don't compare my fitness journey with yours everybody is different i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button it really does help support my channel and if you guys are new please consider subscribing and i hope to see you guys soon all the right punches in all the right places I'm an Olympian, trying to make the top We know that Jones ain't real, come on son, make it stop If you're a foodie, foodie, just raise him up Cause every inch of me is perfect from the bottom to the top Yeah, my mama, she told me, don't worry about your size